All right, quick video on how to use your y equals, use your y equals to graph. I'm going to show number 13 from 6.8.2. Number 13 from 6.8.2, that's reciprocal, okay? And that function was y equals, or f of x equals. If you have information here, just hit clear. I don't have any, but just hit clear and that'll go away. And that function was 4 over x minus 1 divided by 2. So you have to let your calculator know that 4 divided by x button minus 1. So you see how I've done that? So I put the entire fraction in parentheses, and then I put the x minus 1 in parentheses as well, because it does PEMDAS. So if it's in parentheses, it gets it that it's connected. But if not, it's going to do 4 divided by x and then minus one, minus two, and that's not what we want. We want this to look like that. So, a little closer. So, parentheses four, and that's just, it's there, you just can't see it. Parentheses four, divided by parentheses x minus one, and those parentheses minus two. Now you have two things you can do here. You can hit graph all by itself, and that will show you that reciprocal graph. And that gives you kind of an idea what it looks like. You can also hit the second button, graph, which opens the table function, and this is now your xy intercepts, okay? I'll go a little closer so you can see the numbers. So obviously I'm not gonna go all the way to 10, but if I come down here, come up here, and see what I'm looking for, I can see all of these. Now that error is good. That error is my asymptote, right? And that's x equals one, so that's my vertical asymptote, which is what it should be. And then my horizontal asymptote should be okay, here we go. And there we go. All right. So you can see all of these plot points here. So if I was going based around one, I'd be zero and negative six. Negative 1 is negative 4, negative 2 is negative 3.33, negative 3 would be negative 3. You can kind of see how this all works. Okay, and then above it, 2 is 2, 3 is 0, and it goes down there. And you see it graphed out, and it would look like this. Okay, your window is your zoom. So if for some reason you do it and you see like a blank screen, make sure that you're at a minimum max of no more than 10, um, not too far less either, so you can see the whole thing. Sometimes you'll see these really small and they're, it's kind of zoomed in. You also see that my scale is at one, that's good. I want my scale at one, obviously I don't want it scaled. So I just have it set to negative as my min and negative 10 is my min and 10 is my max, scale of one for x and y, okay? I go back to here, there's my graph. All right. Going back to Y1, and I'm going to show you number 4 on 6.9. Number 4 on 6.9. So I'm going to clear this out. Go back up here. And number 4 on 6.9 is X plus 5 divided by. And I can go ahead and put this entire um, trinomial in. I don't have to factor that out and do it. I'm just going to put X squared. So X squared. And then it's plus 9x, plus 9x, plus 20, in parentheses, go to my graph, and it takes just a second, and there we go, there is my graph. I want to see my table, I go to second graph, which opens up the table, and now I have that, okay? So I can easily kind of go back and see what I'm looking at. There's my asymptote, there's my hole. So my hole is at negative five, my vertical asymptote is at negative four. You're probably not gonna have two asymptotes right next to each other like that, so you kinda wanna look and see what they are. In this case, negative five is the hole, negative four is the asymptote. So you still have to do a little work to find the hole, although you're already factoring that, so that's fine, you'll see it already. So you can go back as far as you want when they start getting really close together, that's where I stop caring, right? Because those are hard to identify in a graph, so. 
Okay, boop, 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 boop. Negative three is one, two is one half, three is a third. Oh, I'm sorry, negative two is a half, negative one is a third. Zero is a fourth. And then it's getting small, small, small again. Okay, and here's the graph again. All right, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.